a story that you'll see only on 10, from entertaining the masses to feeding them. A former NFL player has made it his mission to tackle childhood hunger. With his nonprofit foundation, Greg Scott has provided millions of meals to kids right in our region. And your size, Liz Kilmer, caught up with him today from his offices in Franklin. Liz? Tom Benita, after playing football at Hampton University and in the NFL, Scott went down a different path, deciding he wanted to give back to the community he grew up in, Franklin, and the surrounding region. He launched the Cover 3 Foundation, which delivers thousands of meals to schools, rec centers, and other places where there are kids in need each day. This is the production area. The day for Greg Scott kicks off around 5 a.m. All the food is made and packed up here. A former NFL player, Scott now has a new team, a staff who help him make a big difference around the clock. I thought the NFL was going to be, you know, my highest pinnacle. And be honest with you, with all due respect to the NFL, but it was a stepping stone for what I do now. In 2009, Scott launched the Cover 3 Foundation out of Franklin, his hometown. In the years since, the nonprofit has delivered thousands of meals or snacks daily to kids in our region. As you all can see, here are the 1,790 meals scheduled to go out for tomorrow. Meals are packed into these bins, loaded into refrigerated vans, and sent off for delivery. They're leaving about 6.30 in the morning. Those vans. Which will go to Norfolk, Virginia Beach, Emporia, and Petersburg, bringing meals to schools, camps, or recreational spots like the Martin Luther King Jr. Center. They impact us a lot. You know, you may have some kids that, you know, are struggling or, you know, come from low-income families of some sort, and they may not be able to receive the proper nourishment at home. We do all we can to make sure that these kids have a healthy, nutritious meal. The summertime, he says, can be the most critical, but the need to combat childhood hunger is constant. Scott says the foundation is approaching a milestone of two and a half million meals served. We're glad, you know, we're able to put a small dent in it every day. We know, you know, it's still a lot of work left to be done, but we're glad to be able to come in and do our part every day here at Cover 3. And for more on the nonprofit, how you can help get involved or donate, head to wavy.com where we will soon post a link to the foundation's site. You'll also be able to read more about the daily operations and how they involve a partnership with the Department of Corrections to provide mentorship to female detainees. I'm live in the newsroom. Liz Kilmer, 10 on your side. Thank you, Liz. Great story.